Hell yeah. Check out these bad boys. Yeah, we did. He is crouched. If I could go back to a uh, regular box or just simple truck too, because this thing just houses everything we need. Like, just you know, tools, wrenches, drills, tools, hammer, cover for the bike, stuff like that. I've got uh, under here is yeah, air compressor as well, boys, uh, with an outlet here, right? Just crazy. Yeah, but the side loaded up too to the gills. Tons of paint, so concentrate, we'll muck off. Ready mix, we we'll muck off. Tools, oils, spray cans, rain X, knapsack. Look at this, I bought myself a brand new shackle of Dirty Life and I forgot to really uh, wrench on the, uh, the stud there and uh, she rattled out. So, got the old one in here somewhere. I'll dig in and get it put back on the bike. Gloves, gator weeders. That's what I mean, like the Ram box is just, man, glad, glad we went that route. Dark interior is tough to keep clean, but it looks cool, man. And I will uh, take the sacrifice. So, what do we got? We got all kinds of stuff. I'm utilizing all the storage here, boys. So, I got the new trailer, and believe it or not, it didn't have the tie down points. So, I went and bought tracks. I got them in the back of the truck here. We stopped at Princess Auto. And I'm going with those ones there, boys. You see them in the back there. You just zing them on down, gives you multiple points. We're not gonna go with these old D-ring styled. We've got all kinds of little goodies here to lock in the tracks, loops, right? Screws, I'll get to that as soon as we get back to the trailer. Up goes the seats, simple as that. Always carry a spare belt, boys, of the old Can-Ams. Oh, maybe we should touch base on what these are. Check out these bad boys. Yeah, we did. So uh, Bay Marine hooked us up with more add-ons for the, uh, the Mav, and these are a necessity. I was sitting there, I just keep forgetting to grab them. And uh, Dan reminded me the other day when I was there, he's like, hey man, you know those uh, rock sliders are down there, those Lone Star. So uh, they look killer, man. I can't wait to get them bolted up to the X3. Uh, yeah, back to our storage, what we got. Belt for the Can-Am, we got ourselves a spare winch uh, cable, which is always good to have, synthetic, right? Spare battery, uh, tools, lots of tools. Can't have enough tools when you're out ripping on the trails the old helmet there um right now i don't have anything in the under compartments uh, on the long weekend there i was utilizing them for food oh, yeah got me i got ice in there we got fruits and all that jazz cheese and uh i think we got banana bread boys snacks drinks awesome so uh very handy to have those as well and they just pulled out and i dumped the water back in they're good to go so love it freaking love it boys dream to drive that is for sure oh yeah get a load of old Darthy there for sure we did we got my brother the white storm trooper but uh when I got I got my GoPro gig and stuff down in here we've got mounts uh safety glasses my ram hug of course um yeah there's the phone paired up love that feature uh my favorite thing about it is actually the air ride which I've heard a lot of people talking uh mixed mixed uh reservations about it right like a lot of folks like it a lot of folks don't so I love it myself. I love the way the truck levels out and just uh, like all kinds of things, man. Where's the, look at the fob here? Two of my favorite features. I love how the wife's always complaining about getting in the truck. So you just give that there a double click and this bad boy is going to go right on down to entry level, which is pretty darn cool. Um, I like how soft it is mainly, boys, is the air ride is something else. I've never had anything like that, right? Leaf springs in the back, coils in the front, the old Ford, but uh, love it. She is crouched. I got her all cleaned up too. I spent the morning shining her up for you, see? I don't know. I mean, I, I still see some smears and smudges, but... Um, things to... You know, I'm liking, uh... Just about everything, really. 
something. Uh, towing capabilities are just unbelievable though. It just tows like there's nothing behind it. And I put probably what a 24 foot trailer Bay Marines behind it with a side by side ATV loaded to the gills and it just pulled like a ram man. That's all you can say. Uphill, downhill, doesn't even break a sweat. Look at that bike. She's looking killer. Loving the tires, boys. I'll try to stay focused, but it's hard. We'll get to that. We'll get to that after here. I've been one of those guys that just ignores the phone in the truck completely and get from A to B before I even bother, but they make it pretty easy with that uh, the Uconnect system that's in this thing. So it pairs up with my phone. It'll read text messages. It'll respond text messages, answer all your calls, all that stuff. So and allow you to keep focused on the road. So that's uh, something really cool that I wasn't used to. Um, new technology boys and I like that. Uh 2500k 2800k actually and uh zero complaints but i can't say enough good things about this truck when it comes to towing when it comes to quality of ride comfortable um power woohoo heavy power love it uh, it looks freaking cool there's no doubt about that love that roof just love the roof boys another killer feature of this thing Yeah, I love the wrap, man. Digging it. Tires, rims. Uh, we might change those. Just for something to do, spice it up. I mean, I love these. They're awesome. Coolest stock rims I've ever seen on a truck. But uh, why not go aftermarket, right? So we might change something up there. You guys let us know what you think. Should we get a set of fuel rims, wheels on there or something like that? The dirt tracks work good. I haven't really had them in too much greasy. I haven't really taken the truck in anything rough yet. I'd like to get the fluids dropped. I got a couple really cool ideas um, for some videos to incorporate it. I think it would be kind of neat. I'd like to see how well it will do. Um, so we might just do that once we get the uh, brake and fluids dropped. Pretty much covers everything about the truck, I think. Um, 2,500 kilometer, 2,800 kilometer review and very happy with it. Want to buy another? Yes, absolutely. Am I loving this truck? Yes, absolutely. Um, so far, there hasn't been any issues, really. Ride super smooth. Cool. So, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's talk about the Renegade, eh? Let's see if we can pick these up here on a better angle. The Can-Am Renegade. How long have I had the Renegade now? Probably a year and a half almost. Somewhere around there. And man, would I buy another one of those? Hell yeah, am I gonna? Hell yeah. Is it a pain in the ass? Hell yeah. Is it high maintenance? Hell yeah. Is it worth it? Hell yeah. That's all I gotta say about that. No, but seriously. Um, 18, love it, love it. Um, it's had a few issues. What have we gone through on this thing? Well, yeah, we took out a power steering unit pretty early, I'd like to think. I think that was before a thousand kilometers, I'm sure of it. Probably, partially, yeah, a lot to do with, you know, putting on 50 pound tires and, and we blew out the rear dip, but we already knew that was going to happen because Can-Am hadn't had that issue fixed. However, I haven't heard anything about those issues for 2019. Well, yeah, we took our diff out pretty early. Again, probably a lot to do with the intercoast. There sure as hell wasn't a lot of giving those tires or those lugs hard as a rock. Still have them, by the way. Anybody want to buy them? Um, nobody wants to buy those tires. They work freaking awesome, but they're hard on a unit. Like, uh, why I, today actually, why I have this loaded up in the back. Uh, Got to do some more work to it. Going to get it to the shop, of course. It's about time to bite the bullet on powder coating these babies. I'm getting tired of rattle canning them, and you can see what happens. Although that's right through the custom or the factory powder coat as well. Oh yeah, right where my strap runs from uh, tied up paracord, muddy and dirt. I shouldn't have wrapped it around there. Should have just went right straight. The mud and dirt obviously acting like sandpapers was doing that. Anyways, I need to get those powder coated. Front bumper needs to be powder coated, and I noticed all my skid plate bolts come loose which you want to check them on a regular basis and I did and I found them loose again <laughs> so we're getting that done I'll take it into the shop it's easier to work on it there we have got uh, carts to get under stuff and without laying on the dirty grass or wet floor or whatever so we'll do that um, 
tires. Like I said, guys, I love the XM310s. We took them out in the Skag. You're about to see that. Actually, by the time you've seen this, you've probably already seen some of that. Uh, we gave them the Skag test finally, and they rip. They work awesome. They kind of float. They're just wide enough, and with that straight cut paddle, they clear so darn good. Uh, I think they worked awesome, and I can't say enough good things about those tires. Uh, only downside on those tires, I think, is that they're quite a soft compound, and as you can see after Oh, I don't know, three or four rides, I'm starting to round these off pretty good. We're not missing any major lugs or anything like that, but uh, they've taken a beat, and so it's time to rotate those to the front. And you can see, take a closer look, just how nice and crisp these edges still are on the front, right? And that's after what, I think, uh, I think we've had a good four, maybe five good rides on it. And we usually put anywhere from 60 to 80K on each ride, so that's that. Um, axles i haven't blown a freaking axle in this 2018 nor have i done any damage to drive shafts front or rear um axles are super super strong man oem all the way with the 18s anyways i've had no issues zero issues believe in them wholeheartedly and i'll continue to use them um until i run into an issue i just don't see any reason to try anything else uh, they've already been great uh, for Oh, I'd say a little over 2,000. I think we're coming up on 2,000 kilometers with that Renegade. And uh, not an axle, not a drive shaft. Just a rear dev, hey, boys. Um, got some ideas to have these powder coated and yanked off there. Downtime's so hard to come by anymore. But now that we have the opportunity, look at that. Ooh, just seen that. Ooh. Oh, she's not bad. She's not bad. Anyways, where was I? Downtime, hard to come by. But with the X3, we got something else to ride, uh, which is nice. It mixes things up and it actually lets it take it easy on my body for, for a day or two, which is uh, good because the Renegade is pretty stiff, even though the Elkas have softened it up to a nice bearable level. Anybody who's honest will tell you that the Renegades ride pretty stiff. Um, yeah, you can have the shocks adjusted, revalve for your weight and all that jazz, and you can probably make it uh, you know as soft as you really want to uh, at a cost. But... Um, Oh, I think I do see a roof. Oh, wait a minute. Way down yonder. I think that is a gladiator. I drove right by it and I didn't even see it. We're going to have to go take a look at that. Because uh, I'm a big, big Jeep enthusiast. But anyways, back to the Renegade. Elka suspension. Awesome, boys. Uh, I've never had any overheating issues with this bike at all. Uh, I did pretty early put on the boys in super cooler water pump kit. Which I think helps a great deal that's it right there boys and uh it comes with a high flow impeller as well so i'm sure that's helped this bike stay uh well at good running temperatures anyways um there's so many things we've done to it i mean you guys know you've followed along um it's hard to cover it all in just a, a quick walk around but i can try i guess um so when we blew that rear diff we went with the mud and wheels rear diff and uh thrill billy powder coating gave us a wicked custom job on her and she's got the black harley davison matte black matte black paint wicked we ended up going with rjwc duels um these things are killer full system stainless steel love these rjwc pipes uh we went to the elkas when it came to suspension uh we've got the mud and wheels uh fully phased and balanced drive shaft in there just as a precaution because we took out a diff so why the hell wouldn't you right um let's see i think that covers just about everything that's been done on the back of the bike we added of course uh your hitch plate and and all that jazz there for tone we switched out to bellows um come around to the front we covered the boys in uh we got jeff the bomb for a tuner up under there uh, we got ourselves custom powder coated and, and done up a uh, shifter and ATV gas cap. Pretty kick ass. Full armor off road for the back rack. Another product I really, really like. Those boys are out of business now. Uh, sold their patents off to Lucky 7 Motorsports so you can still get their, their products. Um, threw on the black hand guards. Oh, we went with the Rocks Riser with the Seco uh, steering step brace. You gotta have uh, a little more rigid once you, you know, we two and a half inch riser there. Or was it just a two? I think it's just a two inch riser on the, uh, yeah, right with a half inch on the uh, Seco Racing Block. So uh, steering stem is great. Love it. It made the ride so much more comfortable. Um, 
my buddy from uh, Winnie Marina to Pole Street, Grant. He did my uh, bumper pad up there. Let me get up there with you because I think I stick the camera up there. All you can hear is wind. All right, up there. We're using that step on the ram box. Very handy. Oh, look at all the mud from washing the truck. This was nice and shiny. Now I got work to do again. But yeah, Grant killed that bumper pad for me. He also did. Uh, Customized the seat, got rid of the white can am on the side, red stitching, which you can see some of the stop, top stitching came out. He noticed that before I did and said, Hey, you should bring that seat back to me. I said, Hey, I ain't really worried about it. Um, she's holding together great. When it's an issue, then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll deal with it. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll let Grant uh, go over the seat again. And uh, I don't know, maybe we, uh, some ideas there from you boys too. We could uh, jazz it up a little bit, I guess. Uh, tied up paracord surprised me with this product the other day. Check this out, boys. Keychain tether. This is really neat. I dig that. Goes to the center there, so that should be uh, a nice little product. He's got me hooked up front and back, of course, with my winch cable extensions, so I don't have to dig around in the crap. Can't say enough good things about Tony Hewitt. Great guy. Um, what else have we done to this renegade? We went with uh, first we had uh, halos. Halos love the halos, boys. Uh, and rock lights, I still have the rock lights. I got rid of the halos because I ended up going with the RJWC Neutrino, which I love these friggin' lights, man. They have such a clean, clean look. Um, just uh, makes the bike look a little different, but uh, very cool, very cool. Uh, I'm trying to think of more things, I don't know. It's quite a few. Uh, clutching, ah, we started out with the Dalton clutch kit. And I switched over to STM, went with the full primary, which was awesome. The Dalton clutch kit worked great. It would, uh, for A to B and mashing the throttle, I think it was just as quick and just as good as any primary clutch or CVT, whatever, uh, sorry, primary uh, from STM, QSC, all of them. Uh, the Dalton clutch kit will get you from A to B, I think just as well. Um, but it's all about how you get in there and, uh, all the different throttle operations. I'm not in this to drag race, so we're looking for constant engagement, good pressure on the bell, no slipping and burning, any of that jazz, right? So, yeah, so that's why we go with the full primary, because when the tires are loaded up and jazzed up, then uh, that's when you realize you, you need a little better grip, right? So we got the STM on there second, and now we've swapped it out to try the QSC Rev X, which I've got set up right now really aggressive um but we did try it out in the skag and i didn't hit limiter at all so i'm not sure i'm gonna add still gonna add some weight to it still gonna mess with it but uh that'll cover the clutching oh we got the dalton spring still in the secondary we stayed with the uh can-am secondary clutching because well people say with the spring it's just as good and with the uh, forward arch day arms on the renegade from super atv now my tires touch the box before my bumper will smash a window so that's kind of a bonus when it comes to throwing on the forward arched a arms in my opinion very has it uh i did forget a couple things they're uh prp again though i went and put a rad pre-screen in there i don't know if i can give you guys a shot of that it'll give you a little tilt there but it's in there kind of black into the rad which i kind of like but it actually has stopped a lot of slop from going up and in there um damn we still got lots of skin look at Egg, boys you can find that stuff for weeks i still gotta rip all the plastics off um cover the mud and wheel stuff cover the exhaust system cover the clutching cover the torque locker cover the boys and cooler we covered the seco stem um got lots of parts of the seco racing me and my brother he's done diff braces and stuff like that to strengthen his bike uh okay. <laughs> what do you think of those seco racing plates oh dude Hey, okay, take a look. It made me almost cry painting over them for now. I'm telling you, nicest product I ever got. Yeah, if you boys are looking to stiffen up the frames of your uh, popos, well, look no further than Rick Seco, man, because Seco Racing. Yeah, 100%. Right, Smooth as silk, man. Yeah. Yeah, you check Super out the, easy. You can't eh? see welds on this stuff. So those holes are already there. Did you have to feed through anything else? Or just just throw no, the bracket just in, bolt it up. Bolts and boom, put it in, done. Okay. And there's one on the back side of the front, too. Oh yeah, okay, I didn't see that, yeah. yeah All right, so right up in there, two. boys. And then that uh, it goes forward and bottom of that one, and then on the back side, it just goes two to the front mount. So it goes one on this side, one on the back side. Okay, so there's two plates there as well. Because this is all boxed out anyways, and right. then you get this. And this wow, that's right here nice. 
So this replaced the old bracket that was there. We there squat. is no old bracket there, nothing there. There was nothing there? Nothing there. The diff holds it together. No kidding. So this one's a nut and bolt here and the plate comes on top of here. Well, this one seems rather important then, huh? Yeah, and then under here, there's a hole here. He's cut out a perfect plate to go up and then welded a nut right in. So you'd literally just, boom, drive your bolts through. It, Rick does awesome work for for uh, making things stronger, man. Guy seems to get all the gussets and everything you need. Uh, we got the belt box sealed up good. I finally had enough of it. And uh, it's funny because we were like chasing a problem around and as it fixed one, another one would go. And turns out I had bad gaskets. They replaced a couple of pieces of pipe. But Bay Marine's got her sealed up real good for us now. So that, yeah, is no longer going to be a damper on my day, at least not for now anyways. And, um, yeah. Oh, hand warmers. We got hand warmers. Also a BRP product. Thanks to folks at Bay Marine. And I love them, man. They come in handy not just in the winter, but uh, mostly in the winter, of course. Got your rock lights here. What else have we got? Anything else we forgot? Torque locker, front diff. Yeah, we yanked that apart. Because I like to have 4x4 four four engagement all the time, boys. So we threw a torque locker in her. Um, also switched out the winch for a Super A TV Black Dose Series winch. Just to get rid of the red cap and stuff. I like 50, right? Um, I don't know what else we got. What else have we done? There's always more stuff. You just keep forgetting, man. There's so much into this thing after after a year and a half of riding it. But Ah, uh, oh, yes. One I always forget to talk about. One of the best things you can do for your bikes, especially your Can-Ams, boys. And because you don't see it, you never think about it, but we got garage product bushings. All in our A-arms, we got the rear sway bars done and all the links at the back. So those guys make such good bushings that you can't barely even get grease into them after because there's there's really no give, but uh, they're known to be the best. They'll last a lifetime of your ride and uh, got those from dirtylife.ca as well. Pretty much covers most of it. Sometimes there's small things like just having these upgraded boots down here um oh, let's see i'm just trying to get a picture here we go the back boot uh is a stiff boot and the front boot is normally a soft boot and you order up the stiff one put it on the front get rid of that um, add some grease in there while you're at it because can-am doesn't put a shit ton in the uh, front shaft uh, so something you should be doing periodically but that'll cut down on a lot of your can-am chatter right out of the gate it makes the bike run a little uh, quieter tips or tricks I don't know um, just keep your rods clean boys I mean I've seen so many people go into limp mode with their can amps on the trail and kind of pooch out half your day um, but if you are uh, clean them out good between rides I mean really good spend the time 20 30 40 minutes whatever it takes I usually clean mine three times in between rides because I get tired of doing it uh, you know so I'll just give it a break come back tomorrow spend another 20 minutes on it until you see that thing starting to bleed out clear water out the other side, do not stop before your next ride. That basically covers it, I think. Uh, yeah, the Can-Am's given us issues, but it has given us more fun than anything. And uh, it's a high maintenance machine because it's a high performance machine, that's, uh, to say the least. Absolutely love it. Crazy machine. Yeah. We'll uh, rip these tires some more. Uh, we've got a few more things on the go. A couple more add-ons for the bike, maybe for the Ram. I really appreciate everything uh, you guys do. Uh, comment and uh, support, subscribe.